What's up guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2 Pixel Remastered and uh, on the last episode we finally started uh, Final Fantasy 2 We made our way to this town right here and uh, We want to be careful here because uh, there's actually encounters in this town It's just as we have heard, the city is crawling with Imperial soldiers We have to be careful, make sure not to get too close In fact, I think if you fight one of those guys, you're, that's a losing battle, so don't do that uh, This game has quick save, uh, luckily, so might be able to get away with it. I forgot to do something about Maria's HP. So low. I'm gonna need y'all to start hitting Maria. Maria's intellect went up. Nice. In fact, I think that's tied to your black magic. Uh. Okay, there we go. I I completely forgot because I've been playing Final Fantasy X too off screen, and I did play Final Fantasy IV. Um, I beat four already. Uh, the DS version. Awesome version, by the way. That might be my favorite version out of the ones I played. It's between that and the PSP version. But, uh... What was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna do. Damn, Maria's magic is already... Yeah, I was gonna say something. I completely forgot. Oh, it's gonna take a while for me to get used to this encounter rate, because, uh... Tetsu's encounter rate isn't that high so far, from what I've noticed. Uh, this is... The most insane random encounter I think I've ever seen. This and a uh, breath of fire too. Simply insane. But I mean, a uh, the battles are quick. We have auto battles, so I'll just be commentating on the side. See, this is a like, perfect level up for. Now the only problem is I don't know why her stamina is not going up. But I'll take this HP, MP, and magic. Those are all the three things that I'm going to be needing from her very soon. And I ran out of magic. That's unfortunate. This is why I want. That's why I get so uh, excited when I see an MP level up, because uh, magic is not the highest. And I want to level up them spells as soon as possible. You know, the, the, the sooner the better. Look at that HP for both of them, nice. And I can't heal. Oh, I fucked up. I should have bought. Uh... Oh shit! Yeah, I can't heal at this point. I should have bought a cure for um for guy in them since I have the gill now. Not talk to any of those guys. I think. Talk to this guy. Where do you think you're going? Customers aren't allowed behind the counter. Ah, oh, you're with the rebels. Yeah, you want to ask him the wild rose. You'll find a secret door in this wall. There's a wounded soldier back there. Go see if you can help him. I've had it with this place. You guys can take it from here. Don't let us down. It's really like these guys work with us. Uh, they're... I forgot the exact name. This kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy VI, the returners. But, uh, let's see. In fact, there's actually kind of a lot of similar uh, similarities in the story. Three potions, I'll take that. Uh, a lot of similarities between this and uh, Final Fantasy VI, in terms of like the Empire and stuff. Or, you know, you're kind of rebelling against. You only do that learn if there's a red button. I'm gonna have to make note of that. <laughs> so you're rebel soldiers, are you? Or if there's a keyword. My name is Scott, I am Prince of Kashuan. We were told you fell in battle. I am, but not much longer. I'm afraid I must ask a favor of you. There's something you must must tell my brother Gordon. So yeah, Scott and Gordon are both brothers. Tell him I know he has great strength. He must learn to have more faith in himself. I also have a message for the king. Tell him the reason Finn, Finn fell so quickly is that Count Borgen betrayed us. He's been made a, a general in the Imperial Army. Look at that, two-timing. Uh, there's one more thing. Tell Hilda, tell Hilda that I love her. Yeah, the game throws out a lot already. Uh, oh damn, I didn't know the B button, or A button confirms the text. Mm, looks like she's asking about her brother Leon. Yeah, I want you to take my ring. I'm sure it'll be of use. The key items are going to show as green, and then the, the key words are going to show as red, I believe. Maybe it's all this talking, but I've grown extremely tired. I just need to rest, just for a little while. You obtained Scott's rig. Yeah, he just dropped and disappeared. Look at that. This game is kind of like Final Fantasy IV. Uh, it reminds me, that, like, death is just a, a common theme. Alright, so we got what we came for. Uh, there was no keywords to learn, but we did get that ring. Uh, I'm gonna go right back in, actually. 
me save my game and then see if I can rest at the end. Because uh, it's kind of a long walk back and I want to be utilizing her magic. Damn. Look at that encounter, man. This is insane. Use this time to level up Guy, I guess. Ugh, Varian. I should have just been guarded with you. Strength went up. I'm not too concerned about his strength because he's going to be doing decent damage later on, but... I want Guy to have higher strength right now. Oh, I could have been... Right now, I could just be utilizing uh, spells from Maria. I need to get to an end as soon as possible. He is blocking the end. You fuck. And I don't have an ether. Wow, look at that. You are... You mother... Alright, looks like I'm going to have to backtrack entirely. It's going to be a good opportunity for Fury and Guy, but Maria is not going to level up at all. Good thing I got some potions, too. Good thing this game has quick save. So now we uh, go all the way back to the beginning, the first time that we were at. <clears throat> Excuse me. Varian's agility, nice. In fact, I want Guy's agility because his agility is very low. So whenever we see Guy's agility, just know that was a good level up. Yeah, long walk back. Yeah, look at that damage that guy outputs. It's pretty insane. Yeah, like I said earlier, you can. Very good guild that we're getting to. As I was saying, you could do wield uh, two swords. Hold on, I think I have to go this way. You could do wield swords, but... That shield gives you so much evasion, and in fact, evasion is very important in this game. Like, very important. Like, as you can see, Guy has zero evasion because he doesn't have a shield on, and he doesn't have the best equipment. Is there an in here? Uh, I don't know why. If there's an in here, I don't know why I didn't rest. Uh, where's the map at? There is an in. Why did I not rest here? Uh, let's go ahead and do that. In fact, I'm gonna check the armor and equipment shop since I'm here. But yeah, evasion is very important. Definitely make note of that. 50% uh, makes a big difference. You're gonna be missing. They're gonna be the enemies are gonna be missing quite a bit, as opposed to you taking a lot of damage. I'm not concerned with uh, javelins. I already have a broadsword. I'm not gonna level up my axe. In fact, I'm gonna have a certain party member where I think I'm gonna be using his axe. I'm going to be using a sword and axe, I'm going to be dual wielding with him. Javelin, broadsword, axe, bow. Yeah, I'm not, I don't need none of these. In fact, uh, maybe at the end of this episode or the next episode, once I get to another town, uh, I'll be able to upgrade to a better sword. A buckler. I'm not going to use these on Guy anytime soon, so I don't even buy that. Okay, two leather caps. Alright, so just two leather caps. Uh, hopefully there's a magic shop in here. Another cap for you. Okay, I'm not going to be optimizing for you. Look at that evasion. Funny enough, uh, the knight has more evasion. Even though she has two shields. But, I mean, she's in the back row, so it doesn't matter as much. Uh, let's see... Was I gonna? I was gonna do something. Uh, there's no magic shop here, so uh, I'll worry about that when I get back to. Why did I forget the name of the the first town in the game? It's not Altair. That's something else. Oh, I rest at the end. I could uh, cast spells now. I uh, forgot about that. So let me go ahead and uh, highlight this in uh, Memory Cursor. Thunder, attack. And it's very nice that uh, Maria has very high agility. Nice, I'm liking that HP. Let's see. Auto battle set. That's a good thing, because uh, 
this pixel remaster moves uh, extremely quickly. In fact, I think all versions of this, but this pixel remaster, I remember, this just seems to move a lot faster than the other versions, and the auto battle helps a lot too. So battles going, uh, they come quick and go, but uh, yeah. I need to save the game. Oh yeah, stop with Thunder too. In fact, actually, I want to level up Blizzard. I want that one to be the first, because I think Blizzard is the one I'm going to use the most. Let me go ahead and heal. I should have level 2. There we go. Yeah, if I use it twice. So look at that. Very balanced with her. Since I'm here, I'm going to buy a cure for... Uh, cure for Guy in uh, Furion. And I'll start leveling up Blizzard uh, for Maria. Where's the magic shop? Here it is. What can I do for you? Uh, let me get two cures. And a good thing we have 1200 gil because I'm gonna start. I'm gonna need gil soon. Teach you cure and then teach a uh, guy cure. So I'm gonna do is a uh, guy and a uh, Virion. They're gonna take turns cure and off, uh, off screen. Or not off screen. Uh, when I'm not in battles, so when I'm on the field, and then Maria's gonna do the healing inside a battle if I need it. I don't need to rest at the end, because uh, I'm gonna have a chance to rest at the end soon. Or I'm gonna have another chance to rest at the end soon, so. All right, so back here, now that we have the ring, we can actually progress. Speak to Hilda. Our password is Wild Rose, I already know it. Uh, key items ring. That ring belonged to Scott. Is he is he alive? Ugh. He gave us the ring of Finn, but just before he lost the last of his strength. Yeah, he didn't make it, unfortunately. Now, I think the audio on this is actually really low. And when I mean audio, I mean the game audio. Spyro had a very loud soundtrack. I don't know why, like it just picked up like real high. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to change the settings on this one. Well, I'm going to listen to it, though. And if it sounds like it's a little too low, then I'll turn up the game audio. I'm just looking at my OBS mixer, so that's the reason why I say that. It looks kind of low on this game as opposed to Spyro. There's a magical there's a magical metal known as Mithril, and we need a strong warrior if we were to obtain it. Mithril. So we learned Mithril. Let's ask about Mithril. We were ill-equipped. Uh, Ill I have changed Joseph, a man living in Salamand, or charged Joseph, sorry, with the task of finding a source of Mithril. Would you go with Minu to Salamand to look into this? Sure. Oh, I don't know why I just did that again. Now this guy is actually very good and very useful in battle. I heard her highness words and have waited her here for a year, and have waited here for you since. I'm getting kind of hungry. That's probably why my reading is getting kind of bad. <laughs> to reach Salamand, we must first pass through the port town of Palum. Take my canoe and let us be on our way. Minwoo joined the party. Alright, nice. Yes, yeah, because I woke up earlier than usual. I usually eat like at 11, but... 11.30? Yeah, I usually eat like 11.30. It's 10 right now. At the end of this episode, I'm going to eat something and probably get one more recording in and then... Uh, Back to the boot camp. Okay, so now that Min was in our party, let's take a look at the stuff he has. And look at that. He basically, like I said, 16 is the limit of where you can learn in this game. I think he has every white spell in the game. Or actually, no, he doesn't. He's missing. Honestly, I don't know, because uh, I didn't spend too much time in the end game. Like, I literally just ran through this game and beat it in under 10 hours, as you saw. Teleport, very useful. Teleport out of the dungeons. But you can also cast teleport on the enemy and it'll just teleport them out of battle. And bas it's basically like a death spell. Very inaccurate though. Uh, at least from my experience. So you definitely want to level that up. Uh, protect and shell. Very useful for bosses. Blink. Uh, you can cast this on your characters with low HP. Uh, I forgot what this does. This defends against elemental attacks. Oh, and status helmets. Very useful. In fact, I level this up later on when I get this. This, I forgot what this does. Cure status elements that wear off after battle. What's it? What? 
cure status ailments that wear off after battle. Also use this for like the green poison and then use this for poison outside of battle. Fear, I don't even remember what fear does, but this guy's very useful. In fact, uh, his life spell is going to be very useful because uh, when we get to the next dungeon, the enemies are going to get pretty tough. So, uh, Let's see. Don't need to rest at the end. I'm missing something, in fact. I think I, ne I need a canoe to progress. Whether we already have that, I don't know. Let me double check. Oh yeah, you already get the canoe. I think you get it from talking to Minwoo. I already forgot. So as you can see, now we can access a lot more attack. I could attack with Minwoo, but uh, I want these guys to be leveling up. Damn, 2 MP. I am gonna... Actually, no, I'm gonna rest it in very soon, so... Best to start utilizing that spell. See, the thing is, Minwu is not going to stay in our party, you know, the remainder of the game, so I'm not concerned with his level ups. In fact, he's just there for, you know, support. Look at that. MP for Maria. Definitely want those three constantly taking actions to level up. Um, Apart from this area, I don't think there's any uh, anywhere else you can go. Or there might, but this is where you want to go. I didn't see what that was. Was that it? Agility? Go ahead and save the game. Gloom. You folks, would you be looking to book passage on the ship, would you? For just 32 gil, we'll see you safe. We'll see you safely to Poth. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I cannot read a lot right now. Done. Just board the ship in front of town and off you go. Today is just not my day for reading. Uh... Okay, there's... Yeah, I definitely want to shop here. What can I do for you? Yeah, look at that. I want all this for... Um, I gotta keep track of how many spells I have for... Um, these are all the ones I definitely want, though. So I'm not, I'm not gonna forget these at any point. These are the ones I'm gonna stay for the, the remainder of the game. I have four, so this is five, six, seven. So I can still learn nine spells. And honestly, Haste Berserk... Barrier and Essena, and I don't really think anything else. Oh, teleport. Definitely need teleport. Blink. Protect. In fact, I'm going to start leveling these up to level 2 right now. So my stuff is looking a lot more organized than it was last time. There's a way to... There we go. I want to put all my white magic on top and then black mage on the bottom, or black magic on the bottom. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Cure, blink, protect shell. I'm going to focus on getting these three to level two. Because I'm going to be able to cast those a lot more. I have 45 MP. So that's uh, very good. Let's see if I can buy a new sword for Firion. Because uh, we're going to go through a dungeon that's actually going to be very long in the next episode. A dagger. Hold on. That's not stronger than the broadsword. Yeah, broadsword has attack 8. It's kind of annoying how it shows you that it's green. Because uh, I have a shield on and I don't want to... I mean, you could dual wield though, so you got to take that into consideration. Uh, let's see. Worry about dual wielding later. It's not to my benefit right now. I want to get that shield level up as quickly as possible. And look at that. In fact... I, yeah, I definitely want to upgrade my equipment before bronze shield being the most important guy. Uh, unfortunately, you can't equip one of these. I don't need two bronze shields, I think. In fact, let me... Damn, I didn't mean to do that. What I mean by two bronze shields, I don't need two for her, I think, because uh, defense and evasion goes up. Actually, there is some use. Damn. Looks like I'm going to do some grinding in between this episode and the next one, mostly for Gil. Bronze shield goes up. Uh, yeah, damn, I need some gill. <laughs> bronze shield, bronze shield. And I don't have any... Around how much gill am I going to need? Because I want to buy one more shield. I want to buy three bronze helmet. I'm not worried about Minwoo's equipment. So that's 600 gill already. If I want one, three, 600 gill. I want three of these. So that's, that's going to give me the 900 gill. And then 
450, so damn, I'm gonna need like over a thousand gil. That's not gonna take that long if I get into some, if I get lucky with encounters outside of battle. Sword shop is, uh, damn, I should have rested at the end before I started buying things. Oh, never mind, that's still very cheap. Alright, so, um, let me think about this. So yeah, I'm gonna have to edit. I mean, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, basically. I'm gonna stay here and get a thousand gil, but, um, damn. Auto battle. Oh, well, Blizzard, that just means Blizzard is, you know, that much closer to level three. Attack, uh, so, um, blink, protect, and shell. Protect? I should put blink last, because I'm going to focus on protect shell, and then blink is going to be, you know, next. I'm basically going to stay here until I get these at level two. In fact, they might get to level three, to be honest. Depending on how long it takes me to get some gill. Protect first, and then I'm more worried about shell, and then blink last. And yeah, this is basically the, the thing I'm going to have set up here. And I'm going to do this off screen, of course, uh, while I get a thousand gill. And on the next episode, I'm going to, you know, upgrade my equipment and move on with the story. So, see, that is not a lot of gill. Uh, let me try to get another encounter. Somewhere here, you can actually get good gill. A lot of it depends on who you're fighting. In fact, I'm going to take my ass to the forest because uh, these guys are not giving good gill at all. And I do not want to be here forever. 27 gill. I'm looking for an area where I can fight like tougher enemies. Yeah. This might take a while actually, but uh, I mean battles move very quickly, so yeah. Just know I'm gonna get my spells up, my protect, blink, and shell, my protect spell, my support spell, so level two, possibly even level three. Try to get a thousand gills so that on the next episode we'll actually be ready with uh, good equipment and we'll be in a good spot for you know the dungeon that's to come. But that's decent gill. This ain't this won't take long actually. So, and this is what I meant by uh, using them to. Yo, off battle. So yeah, I'm going to save the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, this uh, part of the episode. Um, I'm going to be grinding, of course. And uh, on the next part, we're going to tackle the, the dungeon that I was uh, talking about earlier. So yeah, uh, have a good one.